And when you watch him, on, man, he has the, the best highlights, man, in general. But just down in, down out, he's still exciting when he doesn't touch the ball, especially out in routes because he's breaking dudes' ankles. I think he has impressive patience married to his vision. Kansas State, they run this kind of full house type of look where they got the two tight ends in the back or a fullback, and, and they'll motion one, and they'll slingshot them back around. And essentially, they'll have two lead blockers, right? But sometimes those blockers get stacked, and it's a bit of a mess. I watched Deuce Vaughn, I think it was against Missouri, deal with that mess because he was patient. And he married that patience with his visions, and he, and he pretty much always netted a positive game because that play was never really clean, ever. And they ran it about four times in that game, and, and I don't think one time was it clean. He has an elite ability to make the first guy miss. Maybe the best in, in the draft. And what he lacks, I think, in long speed, he makes up for in spades with quickness and athleticism within the play. There's a company called Real Analytics. They came up with this kind of new, innovative way to score data in-game called the IGA score, known as the in-game athleticism. And Deuce Vaughn was the highest scoring player for the Cowboys and he was the third highest among all running backs in the draft. By the way, he was four spots ahead of Jameer Gibbs behind only B. John Robinson and Tank Bigsby. So he's going to be a nightmare from an athletic standpoint and a matchup standpoint in these choice routes that I talked about earlier. I don't care if he's in the backfield. I don't care if he if he's lined up in the slot. You're probably going to have to put a cornerback on this dude. And it'll still be a problem for certain cornerbacks. But if it's a linebacker, you can forget about it, man. He's going to either leave the linebackers guessing, so they're going to have to commit prior to the play, or he's just going to flat out leave them in the dust if they're flat-footed. So I don't think separation is going to be a problem for Deuce Vaughn in this league. I just don't. So Deuce Vaughn, man, he he's proved to me that he's worthy of a shot in this league. He was worthy of being drafted despite... His stature, his production, where you got him, most people did not have Deuce Vaughn falling all the way down to the sixth round. So when you combine what he did in college, where you got him, his skill set that he could potentially bring to this team, it was only right that I rate his value five stars here. And I have down there workhorse production, elite role. Meaning, when you get a guy who 3,600 yards, 40 plus touchdowns, 116 receptions, the versatility, the production, the ability to be a workhorse at that size in college, you get that in the sixth round? I mean, that's that's tremendous value. But here's why you have I give it a five, not just because of what he did. But because he's not going to be asked to be a, a workhorse back in the NFL, he's going to be asked to be a role player. A role which I think he has the ability to become elite in. Maybe not right away. We'll see how that goes. But we've seen guys that he's been compared to, to the, the same damn school, be able to carve out that elite role in their careers. So I got five stars here, Cowboys Nation. How many stars would you give one Deuce Vaughn for his value? 